It was a Parisian fair unlike the others, which had graced the international exhibition landscape since its first in 1855. The Art et Techniques dans la Vie Moderne. It was the first Paris fair sanctioned under the 1928 Bureau of International Exhibitions, the BIE, that remains today as the sanctioning body for World Expos, not unlike the International Olympic Committee does for sporting events. But the most different aspect of this Paris exhibition was in its position in world history, a history that would see, within a few years, a foreign power in control of the City of Lights. Yes, Germany. And they were, even in their pavilion at the Paris 1937 fair, making no bones about their intention to be an imposing world power. Albert Speer, Hitler's personal architect, stole plans for the Soviet pavilion and made sure that Germany's was taller. The expo was thought a failure overall, but the reasons were varied, in many parts due to world tensions that were in a boiling pot ready to explode, attendance was half that of the Paris 1900 fair. It had opened three weeks late and was partially unfinished for weeks after the opening. Knowledge was hoarded, optimism was missing, plans to reopen the event for a second year moved forward only to be stopped on 1st January 1938 by the French Senate in a 224 to 73 vote against. They couldn't spend the money on a fair, they had to spend the money on national defense. Thank you for watching our video. Please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please leave those in the comment section. We'll work on getting them out to you as soon as possible.